Hey, welcome to Pleasant Sims. My name is Cindy and on this channel I make videos to help you improve your gameplay in all the Sims games 1 through 4. In today's video I am doing a Sims 2 mod review because this has been my most requested video pretty much since I've come back to the channel. Everyone wants me to check out this new amazing mod for the Sims 2 and I can't wait to see it for myself. As most Sims 2 players know one of the things that we have always wanted in the game are more lifetime wants and there is a relatively new mod that adds 50 new lifetime wants to the game. Let's go in and check it out. So here we are on Mod The Sims and here is the mod 50 new lifetime wants for Sims 2 Experimental. And this was created by Lemaire. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. I've never really known how to pronounce it and that's how I say it in my head. So I'm so sorry if it's wrong. So this was uploaded on August 1st, 2022 and updated August 22nd, 2023. So wow, it's actually been out for a while, like over a year, and I'm just now getting to it. So this mod has custom descriptions, icons, memories, everything that you would normally get uh, with a lifetime want in The Sims 2. It looks really amazing. If you've been playing The Sims 2 for 20 years, then you know something like this is super exciting to get in the game. It's almost better than getting a new expansion pack. And you can see just like some of these um, drinks master, store 50 cars, spend 200 hours teaching others. I just, I love these. They're so uh, creative and I think they're really going to improve gameplay in The Sims 2 as well. Publish a 5,000 simoleon bestseller, job hopper, get promoted in 15 different careers, outlive rich spouses until you have 150,000 simoleons. Okay, so here on the Mod The Sims page is a description of all the different lifetime wants. Um, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and read them all in this video, but if you want to see them, you can check that out for yourself or download it yourself, obviously. It also includes the four university wants. Now, I have a mod in my game to put these back in, so I think I'm going to have to take that out because I'm sure they probably conflict. So if you download this and you have the mod that gives you the four university wants, you probably want to take that out and just use this mod instead. There are very clear instructions for downloading the mod here on Mod The Sims. The one thing I do want to point out is is if you have a lot of mods for The Sims 2, like many of us do, there may be some compatibility issues that you have to deal with. But I see that there are a lot of compatibility patches here, so it might take a little tinkering to make this work is all I'm saying, depending on how many other mods you have. For the purpose of today's video, I downloaded the main set for Mansion and Garden version and Ultimate Collection, and I'm just going to use this in a brand new game that has no other mods in it, just so I can see how it works before I decide if I want to add it to my main game. and also go through all the work of doing all these compatibility patches if needed. There is also a list of additional mods from elsewhere that you might want to download. I have a lot of these mods, but what I really want to get is the lifetime want chooser, which lets you manually choose a lifetime want for your sim. So we're going to open this up. This is also on Mod The Sims by the same creator. I think this is just going to make it so much easier to choose the wants, especially because we have now more than 50 of them. Before this, I would use the Sim Blender to just cycle through through the lifetime once until I got the one I wanted for my sim. But now we don't have to cycle one by one anymore. We can just pick from a list. So that's awesome. So I am here in the game in a brand new fresh install of Pleasant View that has never been played. You may notice that my game looks a little bit basic and that's because I have no graphics mods or any other mods installed. The only mods I have are the lifetime once and the lifetime want chooser. So we're just gonna go visit Don Lothario to experiment with this. If I were playing Pleasant View from the beginning, I always play Don Lothario first and I always change his lifetime want usually to become a doctor I don't remember what that one's called we'll find out in a minute these scripted events have begun but we're gonna ignore those for now because we're trying to test out a mod no romance for you Don not today buddy <laughs> It's been a long time since I've seen those default eyes, those glassy Sims 2 eyes. <laughs> Someone said in one of my live streams that my boyfriend looks like Don Lothario, and that is absolutely true. I cannot deny it. All right, so we're going to go into build mode now, and I'm not exact. I didn't really look to see where this is going to show up at. I would assume somewhere in miscellaneous for the wants chooser is what I'm looking for. Where is it? I can't find it. I don't know. It's in miscellaneous miscellaneous. So it looks like a dream Catcher, the lifetime want chooser, it costs five simoleons. Click on this object to manually choose a lifetime want for your sim from a list. Okay, so we're gonna hang this on Dawn's wall over here. Then we're gonna go back into live mode and choose lifetime want from all or choose lifetime want from person 
from personally available. So let's see what that is. So I assume these are based on aspiration because we're getting become Hall of Famer, professional party guest, visionary, simultaneous lovers, job hopper, fitness trainer, stylist, reach platinum, lifetime aspiration, ultimate wellness of body and mind, and woohoo with many different sims. So actually to Don, I would usually give him, since he's a romance sim, I would actually usually give him like woohoo with many sims or something like that. I don't think I actually do ever give him the become a doctor or become a surgeon or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Let's find out because I want to know. We're going to ignore restrictions. When you ignore restrictions, it brings up a list of all of the lifetime wants and you can choose from any of them, not just based on aspiration. Hospital chief of staff is the medical field one. I couldn't think of what it was called. Become hospital chief of staff is a good one for Don, but also because he's a romance sim and he likes to woohoo all the time, I usually find it more fun to give him woohoo with many different sims. Because honestly, Don is way more interested in woohooing than he is in becoming chief of staff. So just going down the list, some of the ones that I see here are among beloved robots. Oh, I have a great sim for that in my strange town achieve a top top drink businesses. And then you have all these regular ones that um, were already here. Car mechanic, collect all vacation mementos. That would be really fun for a sim that likes to travel. Um, astronomer, grilled cheese, embodied supernatural combo. I love that. Gold digger, gourmet foodie, great freelance music musician, great street performer, great teacher. Um, we have some, some of these I recognize as having already been in the game, but uh, head of successful family. I'm not sure what that one is. Influential manipulator, insider member, job hopper, Lots of good vacation trips, marry, marry off children. I think that one might have already been there. And then we've got, oh, I really like these. Master angler, master florist, pottery, robotics, threads and needles, repairman, toy maker, uh, maxed out talent badges. I feel like this is gonna add so much to the game and make, make my Sims lives like so much more interesting when they're actually trying to work for these. Now I am a wants based player, so my Sims don't usually reach their lifetime wants, but I like for them to have something to work towards. Ooh, regular UFO passenger, I love that. Social pariah, <laughs> vampire clan. I am so excited to get started playing with these and trying them out. In both in my personal game and in the games that I stream and record. We will definitely be using this mod in next week's Strange Town Saturday and definitely also in any Let's Plays that I record in the future. I think it's so incredible how many new amazing mods are coming out for The Sims 2 and the uh, mod creators are just, it just blows my mind that they're able to go in and do this and I appreciate them so, so much for in continuing to enhance our Sims 2 gameplay all these years later. It's incredible. So thank you mod creators and thank you Lemaire for creating this mod. God, I hope I'm saying your name right because I feel like I'm not, but I'm just so grateful for all these mods. And this is the first uh, new one that I'm trying as I come back to my channel and to the Sims community. I'm also going to be updating my Sims 2 mods list on my website and including this one, of course. Now seeing them here, I am definitely gonna be playing with them. And I just wanna give Don, since I'm not actually playing him, I just wanna give him one of these uh, just so we can kind of look at it. So let's give him insider member. Be member of 10 hobby clubs and, and secret society and have best friends in each. Wow, that sounds like it would be difficult to fulfill, but also really fun. Um, among beloved robots. Don, you're looking right at me. He's breaking the fourth wall. Have three robots and be married to one of them. Oh my God, that is perfect for Judy Smith in my Strange Town stream because her turn on is robots and her hobby is building robots. So she can, we can give her this lifetime wish so that she can fulfill all of her dreams of marrying a robot that she builds. I love this one. Professional eight ball player, that's cool. Make 10,000 simoleons by playing pool. That would be such a cool career for them to have and such a cool thing for them to pursue in the game, you know? This just gives you so many more options and I love that. Don's really creeping me out though. He's staring directly into my soul. He's like, why did you take my woohoo want away? I'm sorry, Don. I also really love the convenience of the lifetime want chooser. This is so much easier than the old way which was to cycle through using Sim Blender, and sometimes it could take forever depending on which lifetime want you wanted for your Sims, but this is so easy. And you can also use it to re-roll if you just want to re-roll, let's do that. And hey, we re-rolled to have 20 simultaneous lovers, which is the perfect lifetime want for Don Lothario. And I don't know what shapeshift means, so let's select it. Oh, you can shapeshift the actual chooser itself. 
So let's see what else we can change it into. You can change it into different plants so it just looks, you know, nicer. Put, make it a little garden statue or one of these. That way it can fit in with your Sims decor a little bit better if they're not the kind of Sim who would have a dream catcher hanging on the wall. So I like that option too. Overall, I think this mod is fantastic. I really love it. I really appreciate how much work it probably took to make this. It's incredible. And uh, I will definitely be playing with this in all of my Sims 2 games going forward and I would highly recommend you checking it out yourself. Just make sure to check out any compatibility issues that you might have with it. And uh, for those of you who have told me about this mod and who have been using it for the past year or however long, please leave me some comments down below. Let me know. Are you enjoying this mod? What do you think about it? Are there any little tips and tricks that we might need to know? Let me hear all your thoughts in the comments down below. And also for anyone who's interested who is not currently using this mod, um, I will link to them down below in the description box, but they're very easy to find on Mod The Sims. And make sure you read all of the installation information and everything as with any new mod that you install, especially if you already have a lot of mods installed. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, little Sims 2 mod review. I love doing these kind of videos and checking out new things. I've got lots more content coming up for you though in all of the Sims games, including more comparison videos and more lore and stories. Also, if you're interested in joining me for some Sims 2 gameplay, don't forget to follow me over on Twitch where I'm currently streaming twice a week on Mondays and Saturdays. And you can always watch my stream play Playbacks on Pleasant Streams, which is my stream archive channel. And follow me on all the social media. I'm everywhere, okay? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, come follow me. All the links are down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you with a new video very soon. Bye!